Next game up here, Tennessee, embarrassing loss. Jacksonville oh. can't get out of their own way, but credit Urban Meyer for staying behind in Cincinnati and going out to the local That's bars it. for some, you know, college-age <laughs> women here where he had to apologize for, which I don't know really what he was apologizing for, how in- embarrassing mm-hmm. it was, but – Maybe you don't want to put yourself in that situation when you're a married man and you're a coach and you're on the road and you told the team, like, hey, man, I know a couple of really good haunts here in Ohio. I'll catch you guys back in Jacksonville over the yeah. weekend. So it wasn't the greatest look, but I think it was funny where he had to apologize. Now, Tennessee goes on the road minus four here, Kyle. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're down both wide receivers again in this football game, Jacksonville is going to be live to beat Tennessee again because you're talking about – Tennessee, who had no business losing to the Jets, even if it was just Ryan Tannehill and even Derrick Henry was out, they probably still should have beat them. But that showed the inability of that defense to make any plays or get any pressure and yep. do anything. And then you also said, okay, well, Derrick Henry's going to get his. He did. Derrick Henry ran wild in this game and scored a touchdown, and they still lost to the Jets. You don't get any, oh, it's on the road. It's tough. They, no, no, no. You lost to the Jets here. There's a good chance they lose to Jacksonville this week. Yeah, and, you know, the the wide receiver situation is key in this one. If they have at least one of those two guys, you like it a whole lot better. Jacksonville's still not a very good team. Haven't proven they can close out a game. They started a couple games. They started well against Arizona, started well against Cincinnati, then sort of fall apart late. I love the Urban Meyer thing. A couple more things. You know, <laughs> when, like it, when, when, you're, when you're a guy on every interview, you talk about Bible study and praising the Lord. Oh, yeah, and then how many times have your players been in trouble for sexually assaulting college girls and then you covered it up and your name sort of gets taken out of the headlines and then there you are, no, they're just trying to pull me out onto the dance floor. I was just sitting there. Yeah, right, Urban Meyer. <laughs> yeah, right. What a horrible – and I love to bag on Urban Meyer. I told you, this guy's just not ready. Can you get mad at him, though? Can you get but, mad? No, of course not. No, if I'm Urban Meyer, <laughs> are you kidding if that's me? <laughs> Come on. I'm going to have four or five of them around. I'll do it, you know, but no. Everybody, so I don't blame. No, everybody's in there like, hey, that's really a bad look, Urban. All they do is say, oh, I don't know. That girl looks okay. Okay, yeah, Urban. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know I I wouldn't be apologizing. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. But I also don't uh, talk about Bible study on every one of my interviews. That's so, true. you know, there's a little bit of a difference there. <sighs> yeah, I mean, look, the Tennessee defense stinks. It's so bad. It might be the worst defense in the league straight up. It, it just might be. They ha- have no pass rush. They can't stop the pass. They can't stop the run. You have guys like Michael Carter running. Wild. Corey Davis. Look, I like Corey Davis. Nice player. It was a revenge spot. I get it. But really? I mean, really? That That's what happens? You lose to the Jets? Could be a trap. I could be selling a little too low on Tennessee right now. I want either A.J. Brown or Julio Jones, and if not, I probably won't touch this game. Yeah. And I would. And if I was, I, I'm with you, even though I don't like Jacksonville a whole lot. Take those points at home, don't you? Uh, especially with it's the It's so hard, like though. But, yeah, it's the same oh. thing with the Jets game. Like, hey, the Jets look like maybe they're the right play in this one because Tennessee has no weapons outside of Henry. And then you take a look at this one and say, okay, I feel the same way. Like, look at me talking on a Monday. Hey, they might lose. I'm like, am I taking Jacksonville at the end of the week? Probably not. But there's a way to try to focus in on this game. Over under at Phantom opened up at 52 and a half. Those are now 48s across the board. An interesting one. But you're right. Like, if you can get A.J. Brown and Julio Jones back, they will detonate that Jacksonville team. Yes. But if they don't, they're in trouble again. And DJ Chark not being there for Jacksonville could be a a big loss as well. So it's something, you know, I I know LaVisca Chenault looked pretty good in the slot. Uh, and he was a big target for Lawrence. But when you lose that big playability of DJ Chark, it's sort of – so the wide receiver position, marquee in this game, might just make it a stay-away game. Don't don't fall for the trap. And uh, some of the news coming out now. Uh, Chargers actually placed Kenneth Murray on IR today. So he's going to be out at least Ouch. three weeks, which is, again, we saw it last week. It like, sucks when you get these you – know, not even game injuries. You get a practice injury. When these guys aren't even hitting at each, at each other and they're knocking themselves out for a couple weeks at a time.